everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is a weekly angelic message for the week beginning April 11th, 2022. Angelsouls444.com if you would like a personal reading with me. We can do an Akashic Records reading where we look at all your lifetimes or we can do an angelic message reading. And if you have not yet gotten your ticket for my live event happening on April 11th, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific on Soul Contracts, use that link down below get your tickets, get your friends. Let's talk. I want to hear what you go through with like accessing your soul contract. What have you learned? And you can of course ask me questions live. So make sure you take care of that. If you haven't yet, I want to see you there. And of course, if you would like to join me over at Patreon, I'm going to be putting up bonus content, bonus readings, that sort of thing. It just takes a dollar to join per month. Okay. So all of that information is in the description box below. Now, Getting into this week, first of all, let me ask, how are you doing from last week? <laughs> are we okay? Are we feeling good? Are we feeling what? I know I am just wanting to decompress and because I, I would be, again, I want to know how you guys are experiencing this time right now because I just feel like everything that, and I'll share this with you, everything I thought was going to happen that kept failing and then I'm like, hmm, I didn't even get upset because I always feel that feeling like, okay, there's a reason why there are so many blocks over here. I'm supposed to be looking somewhere else and now all that's opening up and it's amazing and surprising and all that. So I want to hear what's going on for you guys. But, you know, again, it's not going to be an easy time for just everybody all the time, okay? So let's just dive right into the cards and let's see what we are dealing with here. Oh, and I should mention that this is my dad's birthday week. Happy birthday, dad. I love you so much. My father, his retirement year was 2020. And what he did for his career was drive a truck, delivering medical supplies. <laughs> so we, we all got a kick out of that. His uh, retirement year was 2020 and he delivered medical supplies. <laughs> so yeah. So happy birthday, dad. I love you so much. All right, let's see what we have I want yeah there it is because I can feel they're jumpy all right so nine of Michael so it starts off with a little bit of worry and this is like worry about the future am I going to be okay am I going to be able to handle what comes my way and the answer is yes and it even says here your worry is unnecessary focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire release feelings of regret guilt or worry to your angels so yeah you might be coming into this time wondering if you're heading in the right direction. You know, will I, it's mostly, will I be able to handle this? That's the bigger thing that's coming up and worrying about it is not going to help you, right? <laughs> it's just going to make it worse. And remember, yeah, cause there's this whole thing here, you know, just remember if you're getting guided away from something, it's for good reason. Trust that, trust it because something, something better could be coming along for you. And I think that's what it is. Some of you might be feeling rejected. Like for example, let's say you're dating a jerk. Okay, you date a jerk and he dumps you. Now you're like, but you're the jerk. How are, how are you dumping me? But you still feel really, <laughs> this is a stupid example, but, <laughs> but maybe you're like, you still feel rejected and like that means something about you. It doesn't, you're, you're having things clear away that do not serve you. Okay. Four of Ariel. Here we go. When you give, you also receive being resistant to change. Okay. That's this. That's, that's why we feel like this. This is why we're crying on our pillow at night. Like we, you're doing the thing. Okay. <laughs> when you give, you also receive being resistant to change extremes in how you save or spend money. You know what this feels like to me or hanging on too tightly to your ideas and how you see things, holding on too tightly to your perspective. How I see it is the only way to see it. Everyone else is dumb. Everybody, <laughs> you know, nobody knows what I go through. And yes, we all have our pain things. We all have our triggers. And it's very easy then to go out and point the finger at people and be like, because you've never gone through that, then you can't possibly understand me and you're a terrible person. That's not right. That's just not right. We can't be doing that to one another. Okay, so we had this before. What was it, last week? 
Must have been last week. Okay, because <laughs> that would have been before. Page of Ariel, reliable, clever, educated, balanced. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education, time to get to work. This is really saying stop crying about being scared of moving forward. Like literally, it feels like all these beautiful things are starting to open up, but you don't trust it. And it's understandable why you wouldn't trust it simply because... You know, you've trusted things in the past and maybe it didn't come the, come around the way you wanted. And that is because, I wanna feel this out. It's the star card. And so all of these things, it's like not wanting to let go. It's, it's, ugh. For some of you, something may force your hand. I think there's like a storm coming in. <laughs> I'm hearing some like wind and rain and all kinds of stuff. So hopefully it won't get too loud. Uh, so it's the star Archangel Jophiel. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. The reason why I'm pausing on this is because there's so much resistance to allowing this to occur. Right? So this is trying to help you realize your worth. Help you open up to what you came to this planet to do. Help you let go of the pain so you're not swirling in it. And what, and this is so sad, what it feels like a little bit is some of us, we're just so used to the pain that we don't, we don't know who we are without it. And so we don't want to walk away from it. And I know that seems strange, but, you know, and I've said this before, if we hang on to the pain, maybe it's an attempt to try to control it. We see people do that all the time. I'm going to lay claim to the poison that's been used against me. And I'm going to keep drinking the poison, but at least it's mine now. At least I have the, the control over who poisons me. It's really bizarre. Get rid of the poison altogether. Hello. <laughs> right? Thank goodness. So let's get these cards over here. Let's see what else we have going on. Yeah, give, give your hearts a break here, okay? There, there's going to be a lot that is asked of us. A lot of adjusting. We're already seeing that. We have been seeing that. But people are adjustment fatigued. And that might be playing into why you, some of you out there might be having resistance to moving on. I mean, if somebody came and asked me to change my lifestyle and go off and do this, that, and the other, it might sound really good, but I would also be kind of holding back and be like, I don't know. Is that what I want? I'm not sure. All right. For your, <laughs> red, free yourself from pain. The number is two. We are hanging on to pain because we're used to it. We don't know who we are without it. Just look around at all of the people who say, well, this, this, and this occurs. And therefore, I'm going to, you know, make a big statement about an entire area of life. And because it's this one little thing, it's my experience, that means it applies to everything over there, right? And... That is trying to, again, own the poison. You're not getting rid of the poison. You just want control over it. And I'm also feeling this thing we have to come to terms with how, hmm, yeah, when people say they wanna release their pain and they want to heal and they want to come through and live their potential, a lot of people are putting that narrative out there, but really what they want is a complete reversal of the control. So when you hear people say, oh, why can't it just be you know, nice and peaceful and love and grace and strength and all that stuff, they don't mean it. There's, so watch that in your life, okay? Because when, if somebody, okay, I'm trying to think of an example here because I, I feel I know what they're <laughs> trying to get at here. Um, someone might play the victim. What are they aiming at? They want to be in charge and they want to destroy everybody and mess with their minds until they can slide right past them and be at the top. So there is some message around that for some of you out there. Um, unfortunately, the people who probably need to realize that the most are never going to see it. They're never going to give into that. Let me get some more cards on it. Let's see. Power. This flung out of the deck. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Flung out of the deck. It's all a power struggle and it's all people coming from their pain 
And instead of releasing the pain and healing and processing and coming on through, they're just striving for power. Why? Power is protection. If I'm in power, I can do whatever I want. We see now that that's not true. Okay. People of power usually fall the hardest. I'm just saying. That's fascinating though. Not feeling safe. This is root chakra. Not feeling safe. Not feeling safe within your own skin. Like, we can't even go into the spiritual sidestepping message of, like, find your power. Tap into your power. Do your thing. Name it in. No, this is like, <laughs> people are wanting to just bulldoze over others. Wanting revenge. Wanting revenge for how they feel they've been slighted. They want to give it back. They want to, ugh. Ew. This is not very nice energy. Okay. Let's get more on that. Please. Because now we left the people <laughs> with that downer message. Okay, let's bring it back. You know, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. It doesn't. It could just be really things clicking and making sudden sense. Okay. This job is a hazard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. Everything's fine. Okay, so pr <laughs> protection. Falling out of the deck. Remember I just said power. I just said that power is protection. And here are the two cards. Right there. I'm like psychic or something. Tell your friends. Okay, make sure I'm in focus. Good God. So this is spooky week, okay? Um, spooky things happening. The cards just tried to hurt me. Um... I quit. No, <laughs> I don't know, guys. We just be on the lookout. Don't be suspicious and paranoid or anything like that. But dang, we can't go with the old narratives anymore. And, you know, if you see people who are watering down an argument with victim signaling or they are um, just trying to win at all costs, I don't know. There's a lot of power struggle kind of stuff here gonna be different for everybody obviously we'll probably see a little bit of this out in the world and the collective but I'm trying not to just leave you with this like yeah it's probably gonna be like a really heartbreaking week it's not um okay injustices being righted but it doesn't look the way you think because the people who are crying foul again a lot of them do have um Spiritually speaking, we would say a dark energy. There are psychological uh, terms for those. I'm not a psychologist, so I'm not going to use those terms. However, they, what I'm getting here is a lot of that behavior will be with the excuse of um, some sort of, you know, cause or trying to make themselves look good. Like, look at me, like communal narcissism, that kind of stuff. Um, and we realize what their game is or something. I don't know. Report back. Let me know how it's playing out for you. Let's leave it there. Dang. I'm going to do the dailies now. Okay. So, <laughs> so I'm sending you all so much love and take care.